If you want to get top dollar when selling your home, one of the biggest things you want to pay attention to is lighting. And in this video, I'm going to share 11 easy ways you can improve the lighting in your home so it shows its very best. Now, having your home show well is really about making sure people feel comfortable when they're in the property. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to make sure that things are well lit because we all have this desire to kind of see everything around us and it makes us feel more comfortable when we can do that. Uh, if you look at something spooky like a haunted house, they dim the lights, they make it darker. And this is one of the reasons why mood lighting tends not to work. Light also makes a room feel bigger. So having light flooding into a space will just naturally make it feel bigger and more spacious and more comfortable for anyone that's in it. Okay, so the first tip that I'm going to share is the importance of making sure that you leave lights on and expect to leave them on. Now, this is even more important when it's later in the year and it's getting dark a lot earlier, but even in the summer when you're selling your property and it's going to be bright outside, expect to leave lights on. It just lets everything look a little bit nicer, especially when you see some of the other tips. I think you'll see it really can help. Now, the second way you can do this is by adding lamps throughout the house, especially in spots where it's needed. You're certainly going to have those areas that might be like a basement or maybe a bedroom where you just need a little bit more illumination in there. And adding a lamp is an easy way to do that. It also casts a little bit of light on the wall, which just adds a little bit of texture to everything. The third way you can improve the lighting in your house is by removing or opening blinds and curtains. Just making sure natural light is coming in. In some situations, you might just have some overbearing curtains. They might look really nice, but you want to make sure you're taking them down and just let that light flood in. If you look at new construction, they don't pay to put blinds and curtains and things up on windows because they just want the light coming in the property. And I know this can be a little bit difficult when you're selling your property and you don't like the idea of someone looking in, but certainly for showings, keep it as open and light as you possibly can. Now, the fourth way you can improve the lighting in your house is really similar, and that is just like curtains, make sure you're not blocking window light with furniture or plants or any knickknacks or anything like that. Oftentimes when you're in a house, you set it up because it's an enjoyable way to live, but it might be blocking some of that really natural light that's coming into the space. So really think about the best way to position furniture so natural light is coming in. So the fifth way you can improve the lighting in your house is actually pretty easy and that is is just make sure that you're putting in any missing or burnt out light bulbs and even more so you might want to go through just buy a large pack and just make sure they match just putting in something that's not overbearing something that's nice and comfortable but nice consistent lighting so that all of your surfaces have bulbs that need it now the sixth way that you can add lighting into a room is by adding reflective surfaces like mirrors into a room that help light kind of cascade and bounce around the room. Sometimes just putting a mirror up where maybe a picture or a family portrait was will allow that light to come through. So not only is it making the space look a little bit bigger, but it's adding light into the space, which is making everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. The seventh way that you can improve lighting in your house is by improving the paint color that you maybe have throughout there. Maybe you've got some rooms that you had some really nice darker colors, but it's eating up all the lights, making the room feel a lot darker. Oftentimes we recommend people do lighter colors because it plays into just feeling of openness and airiness. And so it can be an easy way to give it a nice fresh up and at the same time improve the lighting. So the next way that you can improve the lighting in your house is by taking inventory of your furniture and more specifically your bedding, making sure that you're not using overly dark colors that are making the room feel cramped, um, especially in bedrooms where you're really trying to get that space to show its absolute best. It can be really cost effective and easy to go through and just change that bedding and let everything feel a little bit more open. But also pay attention to that furniture. Maybe you've got some pieces that are just overwhelming the room, making it feel darker. Changing that out can be a huge difference. This next tip is one of my absolute favorites, and that's the idea of changing out or improving the front door. Changing out the front door is really, really important anyway because it is the first impression people have, but sometimes an entryway can be really, really dark and you've got a dated door or something that has no windows. It's not letting any natural light in, so as soon as people are coming in, they're feeling the darkness. So just going through, changing out that front door totally changes the entire feeling from the very second they walk into the home. And here are some great examples that show just how much difference adding a light with the front door can make. And I have to give a shout out to Zabitat for sharing these photos and you should definitely check them out if you're looking for cost effective ways to change your front door with their amazing glass inserts. So the 10th tip is actually another one of my favorites, which is the idea of adding layered lighting throughout the home. Layered lighting is the idea of making sure that light is coming from different surfaces. So rather than having everything come from above, 
adding those lamps throughout the space just to make sure that light is cascading and providing all of that texture we were talking about earlier. Another benefit of layered lighting is it allows you to put a little bit of color into a room. So as we're neutralizing and brightening up colors and making everything feel a little bit more subdued, you can put a different lampshade in or, or a little splash of color with that, and that will provide a little bit more atmosphere as well. And the final lighting tip has to do with the idea of making sure that everything you're doing inside, you're also thinking about outside. And I know in the summer months, we don't have to worry about this as much, but certainly as the sun is going down sooner, making sure that lights are left on as people are coming up to the home, making sure that branches or plants that are blocking views or making it feel claustrophobic are addressed so that we just feel a little bit more comfortable as we're coming into the house. It also means you can add atmosphere or even a party effect to different things like patios and porches by putting some fun lights out there and just adding to the overall effect. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope the tips are something that are a benefit. If you're looking for more insights on things you can do to get your house to show its absolute best, feel free to reach out to me at any time.